is up guys today we're gonna be back with another video from the weather hub and today we're gonna be looking at a very rare tornado outbreak now how is this outbreak rare? it's because of these two tornado warnings they're in a marginal risk where you almost never see tornado warnings but again anything can happen but before that please consider liking and subscribing as it really boosts the channel and um Dislike if you do not like my content and or my channel and tell me one in the comments Also Again, we're still having that challenge running where top comment decides my next video however since I got no suggestions um we are Have no suggestions. We're just gonna do this video But without further ado, let's get into the video So right now we're gonna be looking at two tornado warnings we have one we have one um near Elkton and Clarkton in North Carolina and near, near Shelbourne in um Whiteville in North Carolina again. Now these two are rare because we also have another reason why these are rare is because we have this south southern outbreak of course but we also have this northern outbreak and this western outbreak and another one too looking at all the radars though there's little i think that one literally just popped up as we were speaking right now yep it probably did this one this one this one and this one yeah all of them <laughs> now they should just remove this tornado watch i mean this will be a thunderstorm watch because the probabilities are pitiful. 60%. Most of them are over 90. Sorry for my cat meowing. She's a loud mouth. <laughs> anyway, we have two tornado warnings. One right here is a confirmed tornado. So this is a confirmed tornado, which is, is Clarkton, Emerson, and Lisbon. Not Portugal, but North Carolina. This other one here has a radar indicated and is a radar indicated rotation. Still, if you're in both of these areas, please take cover now as this can be very severe and don't wait to see or hear the tornado. I know they say that in every warning, but it's serious. Don't just wait and like, oh, yep, see the tornado. Um, We're just gonna now go instead of, you could, cause this could be, you know, it's 8.20, it's nighttime. These could be, you know, night tornadoes that you cannot see. Like from my area right now, it's very hard to see out with the rain shower and the um darkness coming in as it's night time. You can't see it, so that's why you should always be prepared in case if something happens. Now there's 10 minutes left, so this will expire at 8.30 p.m. Hopefully, this one either dies out. I don't know. I don't think it'll die out. Because they're going to issue a new warning. But, I think what they're I don't know what they're going to do with this warning. As it's about to expire. And the tornado is like right here. Around, like, around Southern Clarkton. Now, looking at the track of this tornado. It's moving around the east at 25 so again let's put it to the test here this is about your track here and it's moving east at 25 miles an hour so yep again it says zero for some reason there's i know there's people there who i have towns with zero people in it like that just doesn't make sense um there's no hail associated with the storm so that's cool looking at the radar let's look at the radar here so again, sorry for my cat meowing. This is most likely the rotation right here. It's hard to see, but this is most likely the rotation. And we can confirm this by going to velocity, uh, savior, see? Well, it's not a, okay. I didn't mean that if you're like religious, but it helps save people. Savior also saves people. And would you look at this? Velocity saves us by, you know, showing where this rotation is. So I did not mean it if you're religious. No, a, velo a velocity product on radar is not your savior. 
but I was trying to mean it as a joke. <laughs> I just want to clear that up because I don't want any controversy. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we have a rotation, and let's look. And here's a good radar tip. It, so this is the radar, right? This is the radar's perspective. If the red is on the right of the storm, that means that guess what? That means it's a tornado because it's moving counterclockwise, which is how tornadoes in the northern hemisphere move. I mean, it's possible that it could be anticyclonic and move clockwise, but this is very rare for happening, and usually doesn't happen. So if you see that on radar, it's probably not. Um. Anyway, looking at the correlation coefficient, which is basically shows um the difference between precipitation particles you can see that this does not look good it looks like it's picking up debris near Lisbon now look at those blues and blacks do not mean good they mean evil they will that means that debris is getting lofted up into the air right now now I have an idea we're gonna go to uh, um, I'm gonna go to this, and we're gonna actually go to 3D, which is gonna be allow us to see what these, how high these clouds are up in the air. So, with this other tornado warning here, you can see that it's also pretty high up. But I think this one right here has higher. But that will be the last cover. This that one's fully covered now. Oh, I think it's actually got a new tornado. Does it have a new tornado? Okay, let's switch back to 2D. No, it does not. Okay, cool. It looks like these are, those are about to die out. I would expect as the not get like they would have overlapping tornado warnings, and like I want to say ten minutes out. So I doubt. Yeah, look at the storm. There's nothing attached to it now. If even if I go to correlation coefficient, I'm not call I mean velocity. Look at that. Nothing. Nothing. So we know this storm is dying. This storm still might be going along, so that will be interesting. Um, looking at this, we can see this is about to expire in five minutes, and again, it's probably gonna expire. So let's look at, take a look at all the from the storm warnings right now. We have another one. This one's moving 20 miles an hour, fail bluff. It has 60 mile an hour wind gust and hail that's less than 0.75 inches. And this is a remaining alert for a possible tornado again. Yep, there goes the one tornado warning. This, I don't know what's going to happen with it. Don't ask me. Maybe they'll issue another one, maybe this out. Because literally, it probably should go over here, because we have a line of severe weather right now over here. But, yep. Let's look at the radar over here. Yep, let's look at it. Okay, maybe I was a little wrong. This does look uh, bad, but I think this is still worse. With a tornado warning. Do we, we only have one tornado warning, though. As you can see, that's good. That's the only tornado warning. Um, we also have some severe thunderstorm warnings up here, and surprisingly, we have one of them, they're like this basic view. Oh no, uh, okay, I thought that was a new tornado warning. <laughs> we also have another one up in uh, Canada, and for some reason... I don't know why, but, um, this one lasts for 160 minutes. I don't know how. I don't know why. But for some reason, that happens. And I don't even see any precipitation near it anymore. So, yeah, that's probably gone. <laughs> um... Well, that's probably why it's expired out so much that I'm pretty sure. Yeah, last update was uh, March 12th. Yeah, no. Let's look at this again. Okay, we have some people 
the storms. Yes, I agree with that. Let's look at the... Um... Oh, these guys don't... Have a lot. Yeah, I agree. This does look pretty severe here. Look at that hail. This doesn't mention anything because it's Canadian. <laughs> we need to update your weather now. Alright, well... We're three minutes out from this dying out, probably. And I'm going to wrap up the video here. Good night. I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.